Embody it all. And I mean everything. What does it mean to actually embody what your emotions are, the thoughts that you're thinking, the physical sensations in your body? What happens if you really feel them and allow yourself to fully feel them, to accept, allow, and surrender to those emotions, to let them fully be felt, to notice where your thoughts live in your body, what emotions are with your thoughts, to notice your physical sensations when you feel pain or aches or tightness somewhere, what's it like to really be with it and really let yourself feel it. And when you do all of that, when you're really coming into your body and staying with you more, um, my experience is that a lot of my life, um, a lot of my attention is outside of my body on other people. And I'm tracking how they're feeling and what they're experiencing. But when I really come in and I'm with me fully, and when I fully let myself experience and even notice, right? For me, a big step was just noticing what's actually happening in my body. Um, what thoughts am I actually thinking and believing and where do they live in the body? And what kind of sensations do they create in the body? When, when you do that, right, there's a level of coming more into yourself, more being with you, um, meeting yourself. Like for me, it's been a process of um, knowing myself more fully and even uh, knowing what's happening inside of me. It, it took me a while to sort of discover that. So that's my invitation. Um, that's our invitation. And um, embody it all. And to take it a step further, once you start embodying, then you can start noticing where does stillness live in my body, peace, emptiness, however you experience it. Where does it actually live in me? Um, and when you hold that with what is alive and what's already happening, the stillness in you begins to grow. Um, and it gets very exciting. Um, so my desire is to help people connect with themselves and connect with their inner sense of stillness and to help those two pieces come together more for deeper stillness, more peace, more relaxation. Um, and there's, there's a lot of depth that comes out of um, coming back into yourself, being more self-connected. And I think what's different and unique about our approach is that we are um, really focusing on um, embodiment, not just while you're being still and meditating, but also while you're moving, while you're dancing, while you're eating, while you're parenting. Um, notice what comes up in your body when you're talking to your child. Notice what comes up when you go down to eat, sit and eat dinner. Um, I'm really interested in bringing sort of stillness practice into living um, and doing that together in group, really exploring these pieces together and supporting each other in that inquiry, making a, a safe space to explore it together without judgment um, and really fully, as a group, fully accepting and allowing all the parts of us to show up. Um, I think that's even more transformational than doing this work alone, right? We all are doing our own healing work, but to do it in group, um, I think really amplifies the work. It really, um, it really heals us at a deeper level. Um, and we need to heal as individuals but, and as families and as groups and as institutions. Yeah. So there's a little snippet. Yay. Hope to meet you.